מגילה, פרק 2, משנה 2. קראה את המגילה סירוגים. What happens if a person read the מגילה in parts, בהפסקות? He took breaks. שקרא מעט ושהה וחזר וקרא. He read a little bit, he waited for a while, and then he read again. אפילו שהה יותר מכדי לגמור את המגילה, even if the time between the breaks was longer than the time it takes to read the entire מגילה, או מתנמנם, or the same case that the person read the מגילה and he is falling asleep constantly, יצא ידי חובתו, he did his obligation, בקריאה זו, in this kind of reading. היה כותבה, what happens if the person writes a מגילה, מעתיקה ממגילה אחרת. Let's say he writes a מגילה and he copies it from another מגילה. וקורא בה כל פסוק קודם שיעתיקנו. And before he writes down every verse, he reads it. או היה דורשה, או he taught it. He taught the entire מגילה. מסביר אותה, and he explains every verse, הוא מפסיק את הקריאה בדרשתו. And he is constantly reading the verse, and then explaining it, and reading and against it. הוא מגיע. Or another example, that he read the מגילה, או היה קוראה כדי להגיעה מטעויות. He read the מגילה, in order to see if there's any mistakes in it. So in all of the above cases, אם כיוון ליבו, if he had in mind, לצאת ידי חובתו, to do his obligation, יצא בקריאה זו, he did his obligation. ואם לאו, שלא כיוון ליבו, and if he did not have in mind to do the obligation, לא יצא ידי חובתו, he didn't do his obligation. הייתה כתובה המגילה בסם, what happened? If he, the Megillah was written in a paint, min adamak to my paint that was made from clay, like a clay paint, u besikra, or it was written with a sikra, it's a type of red coloring, u bekumus, or in kumus, kumus is a kind of ink you made from trees, u bekanktum, or in kanktum, This is צבע הנעשה ממים שיש בהם חומרי נחושת. This is a coloring that is done from water that has in it copper. על הנייר ועל הדפטרה. What happens if the Megillah was written on regular paper or on a דפטרה? What's a דפטרה? אור שאינו מעובד כל צורכו. It's leather, but it's not properly made completely. לא יצא בקריאת במגילה זו. If he did all of the above, he did not do his obligation in reading in such a מגילה. עד שתהיה כתובה שורית, the only way he did his obligation, it needs to be written in the writing of השורית, the way our Sefer Torah is written today. כתב הקודש, כשהוא בלשון הקודש, it has to be in this holy kind of writing, like the Sefer Torah, and it has to be in Hebrew. ויש מפרשים, the Ardozo explains, שאף כשהמגילה היא בלשון לועז, that even if for example you want to write the מגילה in English, צריכה להיות כתובה אשורית. You can write it in English as long as it's written with Hebrew letters. So for example, you can write, and it was in the day of החש וראש, so you write, and, A, א', נ', ד', this is the way you write it. Or, so it needs to be written in Ashurit, in, in English, in Hebrew letters. And it needs to, write, to be written Al Hasefer, on a book, which means a clef, it means to be on parchment, Ubidyo, and it needs to be written with ink, Shehu Mitkayem Venikar Al Klaf. The same type of ink that is used in a Sefer Torah, that it is long-lasting, and you can see it on the parchment. up to here.